Good morning to my smashers everybody doing today. Welcome back to another vlog. In today's vlog we are doing a quick look up update once more upon this site, the development where we are working on. We are going to do an update vlog on the progress. This is not the final video where the building kind of look complete. We still have a few stuff to install, touch up, things like that. So guys, this is the unit. Based on the look of the unit and all, you already know what type of development it is and who is the developer. So applications might be out. Do a look at research and know what is what. As stated in many videos, one bedroom unit, open concept living, dining, relatively a large enough for a single family. I uh, should be honest, it's about 500 square feet. And um, yeah, ta da! So, from the outside, we can already observe that it is like two toned, the opposite color from that. So, what is on the veranda is on the exterior of this unit, and what is on the exterior of this unit is on the veranda, the porch of that unit. So, so then kind of did the color we. This is a nice little unit. Some people appreciate it. Some people, you know, you got have persons who say, boy, should I bigger? Me even hear some people I say, boy, it could be smaller for the press. I don't know. I'm not sure if we had the windows in, in the last video. However, as you can see, the windows are in. The unit is now painted. So if you, you, got, you guys were curious of the color, this is it. It's exterior color. Sandy Cove, so it's kind of creamish, you know, light, kind of pale. We start our manuals. I don't know if in the last video we had the manuals again. We have our cantilever beams around here. This is a yeah, this just this section is cantilever, this is a continuous beam. Uh, just have a look at step down. We install our doors. We have a metal six panel door with sweeps. Come with sweeps. Come with a pull and a dead bolt. Uh, yep, and we have aluminum hinges. These one can't be. How do you call it? Dismantled. When we check and pull out that and all of that, even though the hinges on the outside you have aluminum. So these now go rust like the bare metal ones. Pull up on the inside and outside. Unfortunately, no cylindrical locks. Yep, this is going to be weatherproof. We have um, receptacles uh, around here. Yep, we install drip grooves instead of edge. Yep. I hope you have our parpet. These now are drain pipes for the parpet, so they come parallel to the column. So they come down from the slab down there. So we're going to put a 45 on it, shoot it out, and put a a shoe on that which is like a, a concrete base this is the other side of the unit two foot windows four foot windows i think that's a three foot window relatively nice unit we already coming styling the unit so you guys are go i'm going to go into the unit these ones are locked up now we'll go across here so i'll show the unit then we'll start tile and um open it like the choice that uh, management made so 
tell them, alright, yard space or boundaries the summer up there. So, let me tell them the square foot off my head right now. I would be lying because I don't mean, uh, I mean, I remember what it is. But about I mean, I 6,000 maybe. There about. Ah! Nice little unit, as I say. This can be used as inspiration for many people. Architect, draftsmen, homeowners, all works. Yeah. I'm showing the other ones the, with a different colorway. Just going on an idea how it looks. Same thing. Same thing. Only thing changing at these houses are just elevation for the substructure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, same thing, nice, neat, sharp edges. Come on, you guys agree with me? The houses were nice. I think in Clarendon, you guys will see something similar to this. Hummingbird R7, very similar to this. nice and in a previous video i was telling you guys about the one down finish say paint kind of make everything look more consistent if you just look at it beer to look kind of not so consistent but the paint this i get another coat that i get another coat yep reed bed finish before after and for some homeowners who like to say, I don't know, some owner like to say contract and I do a good job on this and that and it kinda of judge you work too early before you finish but in every single work you kinda of come back where you miss some spot, something not so straight. And you do some like remedial work after. This is a prime example like them here place the chip up chip up and uh, it's a straight note as you can see I be a one one guy. The per unit, I just the sun touch up so. But I judge you work them too early, you know what I mean? Ninety percent of the time these stanchions come out clean. I don't know why. Trademan fault. But that one we're completely demolish it and recast it. This 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 is a no pass. So we are going inside of a unit that is tiled. Here we go. This is it. The port style, similar to the one that is in the shower. Some form of friction. So boom, 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 boom. Having the tile being seated on the floor tile or we run the wall tile down and cut the floor tile to rest beside the wall tile and grout or whichever is okay. I know there probably an advantage and disadvantage in one way versus the other. I know for the tile guys there which is better having it seated on the floor tile or we flush the floor tile against the wall tile. Please, many of you just comment down in the comment section, please. I have something to show you guys. I don't know if uh, my experience or uh, my idea wrong overall for the past couple of years or so, but I've never done it like this before. I've never really seen nobody else do it like this before for these type of chambers. So, look on this and tell me how to take it. This is strongest inspection chamber me ever see in my entire life and it is done for every unit over here so we have a
tie beam up here so so we have a triangular tie beam we wrap around the entire top of this manual where kind of enclosed like backhoes and anything you know like when you are a backhoe this is working in our yard and it drives over the manual and the manual then broke up this can take a backhoe probably an excavator as well I don't know but these are the strongest chambers your yeah, property grease trap it's regular manual we may ever see and I, I don't know if it is if it is normal for a man a girl when I build a manual level like this but um I saw with it over here so I'm learning I mean I'll share it with you know and it is also on the plan so we are doing it exactly where the plan present itself but normally you know send up some black 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 boop 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 manual done these chambers have a tie beam that's sick for the engineers is that cost efficient is that cost efficient is it necessary is it what i don't know this manual not really express experience no load but um i don't know i don't know i'm not an engineer so i don't know best so after we do all of that this is how it finishes we have a paint it of course you see a nice little bench in it on the inside but this is how it finish put a metal manual cover on the top for all of them but this is how it finish it don't finish like the other one i'm gonna show now that is not finished it's a work in progress but this is how it finishes nice little camber on the sides and yeah this is where the problem starts construction debris i always advise people to don't cast these slab before your tile because you see these tiles can be used as hardcore material we can you can help it can fill runner so because these can settle you know at the soil alone settle when it when the water come out of it so this you help use the backfill um the slab around here so and yeah you get rid of these instead of nowhere for the grow man take time clean up all of this and get rid of them you know uh, it'll charge you you know it'll cost you if you remove construction debris when you could have put these in a any little for any like a hardcore or you need around your side yeah that's how we see look come on the termite guys are here like the real termite treatment guys not the electricians because these houses get three stages of termite treatment so at some of the units we reach a final stage Flush ply doors. Nice look of Martis. So guys, that's it for our update. Thanks for watching this video. Bye. Have a good time. So guys, that is it for our update. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys are pleased with the progress so far. Cause I'm on a real, real hard for pleasing. But may I try? Team, I'm smashing. I mean, them. I am out.